Hello, my name is uh, David Gottenborg. I'm a chiropractor here in Pelican Rapids. And as a topic today, I thought what I would do is I would probably hand handle several subjects and questions that we often hear in the clinic. And the first one I want to talk about is gallbladder. And more specifically, for those people who are having symptoms even when their gallbladder has been removed. And what would be the symptoms? Uh, it could be something like um, a light colored stool, um, the tendency to be either constipated or have a, um, a loose stool, uh, or you just simply still can't eat any foods that are high in fats or oils. Principally, what we do in the office is we use three products, three unique products for people that have had their gallbladder removed. All of the products contain bile salts because the problem is, is once the gallbladder has been removed, you have lost that reservoir of bile and bile salts. So when you have a fatty meal, you really have no reservoir to draw on. The liver just simply drips bile into the colon. So the first product is called Colacol, and that simply replaces bile salts. You can take that with a meal. The second product is called Colacol 2, and what they've done is they've added calcium bentonite, or a natural clay, that acts as an adsorbent. In other words, it attracts um, bad things in the colon. So this would be good for the person with a uh, that may be prone to a loose stool following gallbladder surgery. The third product is FENCO, F-E-N-C-H-O, and what they've done here, along with the bile salts, they've added fenu Greek, which would really be good. It has almost a mild laxative effect, so the person that's had a gallbladder removed where their symptoms is constipation, um, this helps not only with fat digestion, but almost has a slight mild laxative effect. This next question we hear a lot from parents is, when can I bring my child in? Or how soon after birth would you want to look at my baby? And so for a chiropractor, we're, we're trained in this. Uh, we receive a lot of training working with infants and young people. But we also understand that, that perhaps the first chance to develop a subluxation is with birthing. And so a lot of parents um, bring children in uh, principally for two or three things. Number one, probably they've noticed something unique about their gait or walk. Uh, colicky or a lot of times inner or middle ear infection. So when can you first bring a child in? Well, shortly after birth. Uh, it's not uncommon that we look at a lot of children between two, two and six weeks old. Um, and we work with a lot of young people when they first start walking, perhaps uh, anywhere between 10 and 14 months. In respect to inner ear infections, here's my take on this. Number one, Children at some point when they have one antibiotic has followed the other and it's almost a, just a constant series of antibiotics. About 60% of your immune system is in your digestive system and when you take antibiotics long enough, your, your immune system is actually weakened. So one thing that we want to do to stop that spiral, we'll often reintroduce a probiotic, uh, something that contains lactobacilli. For those people that have never heard of that word, think of yogurt. There's better ways than yogurt, but think of something like yogurt. The second thing is through manipulation. The upper cervical spine has a lot to do with the lymphatic system and how that drains the um, inner middle ear, the sinuses, the congestion in the head. And so we believe that by treating the upper cervical spine, we can have an effect on a child or one's lymphatic system that in some instances um, allows the ear to drain. 
use station tube to stay open, the child just gets better. Well, I want to thank you for this time today. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, you can always reach us at one of my two office locations here in Pelican Rapids and then on Thursdays in Monaga. Um, and I also want to remind you that the apple season is right around the corner and uh, we're going to have a lot of apples this year.